Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we have another indie artist spotlight. I am so excited to bring you this episode today. One of my favorite artists, Barry Tan. Amazing work. Um, we have a collection of some of his art here. Um, some fanzine contributions and some original art and ash can and other things. The uh, piece de resistance being splitting image 30 years later. The unauthorized bootleg love letter sequel to Don Simpson's uh, send up lampooning of image comics 30 years ago. Um, this is genius. Um, and you definitely want to stick around to see this. Totally worth the price of admission right there. And it's free. And all it costs you is a like and a subscribe and a let's get right into it. All right. So yeah. So Barry Tan, one of the most amazing underground artists that you may or may not have heard of. Um, he is like so talented on so many levels, like his design work, his draftsmanship, his pen work, just everything. Like I love everything Barry Tan draws. Like I've never seen anything that wasn't like totally exciting and mind blowing by him. So anyway, we have this, it's, uh, you know, I feel like, um, and I'm dying for Barry to do like his own original comic book. So mostly he's done like a lot of fan, uh, comic contributions, like, uh, Darkest Image, Darkest Image 2, um, Rocco Jerome's, uh, Kickstarter comic, Ghost Agents, a very cool comic with a lot of talented artists. He was one of the founding fathers on the foreground of that, so, um one of his other great books. I think there's some of that in here. So we will see that. Um, he sent me this great, thank you so much, Barry, this awesome freaking uh, aunt, um, Eric Larson, Mario Goli's aunt, um, Xmas card sketch. Um, and I love the little spot of red as I tip the hat to the color red that is uh, aunt's costume. I also love the extra special touch of not just giving um, Aunt the Santa hat, but giving her the mustache too. The, hilarious, beautifully drawn, amazing. I love it. Great um, ink wash or um, perhaps, I was gonna say Copic, but I don't know. There could be some other stuff, maybe even a crayon or something. Hmm, beautiful. Thanks, Barry. Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, this is in here, so we're gonna save it for last. I'm gonna make you, like, it's totally worth sticking around to the end of the video, because I think it's in the back of the book, and it is amazing. I love Splitting Image. I love Don Simpson. You guys know, if you watch my channel. Um, so he did Splitting Image, which was, like, so scathing and so hysterical and so on point and so beautifully drawn. Two-part series years ago, just, like... And it was published by Image. They were behind it. They had a great sense of humor about themselves. And um, so, obviously, Barry Tan is a fan of this and um, decided to make a sequel 30 years later. So it's an eight-page ash can. It's amazing. I love that he sent me the original ash can, even though it's already included in here. Because uh, I love black and white art. Oh, crap. I was just going to look at the colored version. But now I want to see the black and white art, too. We're going to look at the colored version first. You're going to have to wait. But... It is amazing. It's hysterical. It's totally in line. Like at first I was like, wow, that like when I found out about it, cause he uh, surprised me and told me he was gonna send me this. And I didn't know he did a sequel to Splitting Image. And I thought that was pretty ballsy because uh, uh, Don Simpson's, uh, you know, Splitting Image was so intelligent and so, uh, you know, hysterical and just so great. But as it turns out, Barry Terrence is, uh, just uh, as hilariously scathing as the original. And I think Dandy Don would be proud. So I love this, like, uh, is it cheaper to get stuff printed overseas? Because I totally want, want my comic books coming out in 2023, guys. And I want this size, I want this paper. I think this is gorgeous. I think this is amazing. Did you have the, this is from Singapore. So I'm guessing you printed it in Singapore, Barry. That makes only makes sense. And it is beautiful. I love the size. It's perfect. It's kind of different. Like, I've never seen this exact size for a comic book before. And it's like between treasury and, uh, uh, you know, standard. So I freaking love it. Like, it's a little bit 
more like, you know how like the DC black labels are a little wider. This is a little bit longer and feels more like a traditional comic book, but bigger. Like, so this, I want this, this, I want this to be the new standard. Okay. Um, banned by the Comics Code Authority. I love little touches like this. You know, Barry, like I said, uh, needs to do his own original comic book because like the talent, like just pouring out of his pen, pencil, uh, stylus, you know, whatever medium he's using, he's just amazing. Everything looks great. Like the detail is so good. Like, um, I feel like there's enough of like nostalgic like comic book vibes and his art just to appeal to me and um, modernity that just, uh, I don't know, you know, would appeal to everybody. But great logo here. That looks so much fun. Um, great use of zip tone Street Angel. Like I said, Jim Rugg is a fan because uh, Barry did a Street Angel story that is in here that was in Darkest Image the fan fiction charity comic book that I also contributed to. And that's kind of how I know Barry. And um, although, is that, was that my first introduction to Barry? I feel like I've seen him before. Like maybe Ghost Agents, um, I'm not sure. Splitting Image Comics presents Contraband Comic Cavalcade, Story and Art Barry Tan, Sky Solo 1968 Story, Rocco Jerome, that's from Ghost Agents, I believe, like I said. Editor, Barry Tan, color, Barry Tan. Uh, Marco uh, Pegnata, dedicated to Todd, Rob, Eric, Mark, Wills, and the two gyms. Social links, IG, at Barry Tan, un Barry underscore Tan. Totally worth following. You guys need to check out his work. He's amazing. Email him to try to get this comic. I don't know if he's selling it. I don't know if he can. I don't know what the deal is, but... You're going to want this after you see it. So email Barry at BarryTan84 at gmail.com. And then there's a bunch of indicia, indicia, indicia. I'm, you know, you know, I know how to do it. So this is from Darkest Image Part 2, originally appeared, I believe. Um, amazing uh, tribute to Image Comics, the ABCs. A is for Al Simmons. B is for Bad Rock. C is for Cyber Force. I mean, it, how much fun is this? This is this is the best thing. I mean, on one hand, fan art like this is just a huge fucking waste of time. I'm mean, like, you know, it's not your IP. You're not getting paid for it, you know. But on the other hand, it satisfies an urge. Kirby Crackle. I do see a lot of Bruce, Tim, and some um, Kirby and in your influence, Barry. Um, <clears throat> great bone here. I mean, come on. See what I mean? Like, and that's the other thing I like about Barry's style. He definitely has his own distinct style, but he has a fluidity with his style that is great for homaging. I mean, like, you're totally getting Jay Leash, Hellshock vibes there. Um, he did a great chapel that might be in here somewhere too. Pit looks amazing. Q is for quail. Isn't it funny how much that looked like Donald Trump out of the corner of my eye? Maybe it was like Dan Quayle was like preparing us for Donald Trump or something. Like you just couldn't believe like somebody that idiotic was in the White House. And then, and then, you know, Max looks amazing. I it's so funny because this group of like uh, fan artists that um, I'm in bed with, with like Darkest Image and stuff are like low key obsessed with Max and like do so much Max stuff. and. I love the Max, but I don't know if I would have fun drawing him or not. Oh, hell yeah, I'd have fun drawing him. I might as well just try. Look at this beautiful page. Like, look how amazing this is. This looks so great. Like, this is, like, high quality here. I can't believe I'm so blessed to just be gifted this because I would pay top dollar for this beautiful art. Are you now a very tan fan? I think you are. I think Barry's a big image fan, obviously. Oh, we'll get to that too. And then the Z is for zombies. See, the the uh, conceit, I guess, of Darkest Image is like it's an homage to tribute to like early 90s image. And Barry figured out a way to work in The Walking Dead anyway. And good on you. I love this. It's really beautiful. And 
getting like Tom Coker vibes a little bit. And um, just see, it just shows the versatility of Barry's work because, you know, he has the ability to do something that's very uh, classic superhero, um, like that, you know, like Kirby-esque retro sort of 1963 vibes totally dipping on McFarlane and Keith Giffen. I mean, chameleon, like, you know, like, like Jim Rugg in a way, right? Like, I feel like Jim Rugg has a distinct style, but definitely uh, flexes different styles. Oh, here it is, you guys. Okay, I guess you don't have to wait till the end of the book. Splitting image 30 years later. Don, are you still watching? Don Simpson's Splitting Image. This is the bootleg unauthorized sequel that this, that Ash can was. And it's so funny. I love this uh, like Hydra with the seven heads of the founding image fathers. And they have like Peter David's severed head in uh, their hand. And I beheld a beast arising from the sea of fanboys. It had seven heads all featured on Wizards top 10 list. Woe be unto the industry and all ye fanboys, for the age of image comics hath come. The book of David, Peter David, hysterical. Oh my God, amazing, love it. <clears throat> all right, namaste nerds. Gabriel Shameless is in the house. I am a noted comic and MMA guru and the founder of Wizard Magazine. I mean, I have to say like uh, Don Simpson would be proud. Um, I feel like the art is definitely in line with um, uh, what Don did in the first series, but it's a little different. Um, I feel like there's a little more um, Drew Friedman-esque stippling um, rendering happening in some of the images, and um, uh, Barry said as much when I asked him about it. Hilarious in that um, Eric Larson was name withheld in the first splitting image because he, I guess, anonymously wrote letters to the Comic Buyer's Guide or some crap, but his sense cop to it. So now he's named no longer withheld. Like little details of that are like hysterical. Um, I don't know. Like it's very, very hilariously scathing as I think it should be. You know what I mean? It's like doing a roast. You know, you have to pull the punches. And look how beautiful the art is. I mean, this is such a great companion. I really think Don Simpson would like this and appreciate the humor. And also, Don, uh, PM me your address because uh, Barry said he would send. He would love to send you a copy. And I don't even know that Don could do it better himself. That said, I think you should do a sequel to Splitting Image Yourself, Don. I know you're worried that they wouldn't publish it because you're on the shit list of two of the founding members, but then do it, have Fanographics publish it. Anyway, art, beautiful. Let's see, oh my gosh, I have to read my favorite ones, okay? Hi everyone, God McFarthing here, the Godfather himself. Lots of things have happened since 92, bud. We've had a movie, an animated series, and I went from comic artist to toy mogul. But I'm proud to say that Spasm is still the number one comic published by Splitting Image, and we just hit a historical milestone. We crossed the 300th issue mark and got inducted into the Guinness Book of Records for the longest running comic title with no character development whatsoever. I seriously laughed out loud for real when I read that. That was hysterical. 300 issues and 30 years later, Spasm is still the one dimensional style over stuff, substance character fans know and love. I mean, he doesn't pull any punches and I don't think he should. I mean, it's a parody. It's a satire. It's a, that gun looks like a dick straight up. Brat lifeguard here. Um, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is hysterical. So, you know how he has his, uh, Rob Liefeld has his uh, podcast called uh, Rob Observations. <laughs> so he says here, I got my new podcast, Brat Erections, where I stroke my ego hard, shoot my mouth off, and shamelessly name drop celebrities in your face twice a week. <laughs> Nailed it, Barry. 
Jim Lotus, Lee Lotus, G Lotus, whatever. Now this is my favorite page and I totally wanted to buy the original art for this and uh, Barry said that this was all done digitally and um, just another fuck you in the face of art and artists, you know? I mean, I would love to own this page. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. You know what I mean? It's like, it's gorgeous. And I think that's a, like another testament to Barry's art. Like, you know, this doesn't look like, I feel like some of the art, especially like, I don't know, like some, a lot of the X-Men books like totally look digital inking to me. And this looks traditional. Like you really mastered that. Love the shoes here. <laughs> And um, this is hysterical, too, because it says this full page layout is approved by Aaron Loutson. Love it, Aaron. Oh, because he's Aaron Loutson instead of Eric Larson. But um, what was the other one? The other hysterical joke? I guess the cat's out of the bag years ago. Yep, it was me writing all those damn letters to the comic buyer's guide in the 90s. So bite me. That's kind of crazy. That's like catfish or something. Anyway. I do get some Don Simpson vibes in the inking, for sure. This is very, like, esoteric. Mark Silvestri, amazing. That looks, like, this captures the essence of Mark Silvestri so much right here. I love it so much. I love Rip Claw hanging onto his foot. And Jim Valentino, what can I say? <laughs> I mean, that is just beyond hysterical right there. And poor Wills Protasio. Not only does he get roasted the worst, um, he only gets half a page and he has to share it with, uh, what's his name, Robert Kirkman. Isn't that hilarious? I mean, this is so amazing. Very well done. I'm so glad you colored it too, Barry, because the colors look amazing. And I love the letters too. I love the letters. I want that lettering for my comic book. I'm just going to steal everything from Barry for my comic book. How does that sound? I'll just rip it off. Um, this looks great. I feel like this is from Darkest Image, too. Like, that is so cool. I love that. Spawn. Like, Todd McFarlane, why are you not... Like, why is Barry not working for you yet? There's that chapel picture I was talking about. See, like, heavy uh, Jay Lee vibes, of course, obviously. Um, licking the blade is so creepy. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, thank you, Barry. This is the inevitable point in my reviews, usually during an image comic where I have to turn the book sideways, but I never mind to show off the gorgeous art. Holy crap, mother of pearl. This is gorgeous. Stephen Platt, who, this is amazing. Wow. Burn Hogarth, who, I mean, look at this hatching. Look at this uh, anatomy. It's crazy. Um, look at this hair. Look at this inking. Look at it all. Look at these shell cases. So great. Wow. That is... Right? Barry Tan, your new favorite artist. Profit done in the style of Jack Kirby. What you didn't know you needed. And there it is. This Man, This Planet, a parody of This Man, This Monster. Beautifully drawn. Gorgeous. Great homage. Mystery Incorporated. Trolling Don Simpson once again. Although that wasn't really Don Simpson's. I, I feel like I want to give Don Simpson credit for everything Alan Moore has ever done. I'm like, so, Alan, or <laughs> Don Simpson, uh, co-creator of Watchmen. Anyway. Sky Lady of Laser, Lost in the Nowhere. I mean, this blew me away when I saw it. This art is, like, truly breathtaking. I believe this might have been from, uh... Well, because it was used in Ghost Agents and in, um... Uh, Darkest Image. So, perhaps repurposed or perhaps done slightly differently. Either way... If you, I mean, the more places you want to put this, you know, that is totally fine with me. Um, so publish away. I love that she's smoking inside her helmet. I pointed that out before and seeing this art before and this Kirby crackle is like, uh, 
so satisfying. And that double page spread is gorgeous. That is amazing and wow. I love this. That is so cool. Johnny Beyond. I mean, is this not the gift that keeps giving? Every page is like a revelation. It's just like more beautiful art after more beautiful art. <clears throat> That is so cool. I've never seen this one before. A sizzling 63 souvenir snapshot. I love like when um, an artist takes the thought and care to put in like the attention to detail, like the stains on the pages and the discoloration as if this were like original art. I think that is so cool. And these Kirby homage kind of monsters are so cool. And Vas is Das. I mean, is this making you want to see uh, Barry Tan's Ultron right here? I know I do. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Once again, gift that keeps giving. Yes. Oh, yeah. I remember I, this was like a, a standout for me, too. I was like, what? Like, it totally gagged me. I was like, oh, my God, this is freaking amazing. Like, this... Be I love when um, he does like all this beautiful, like detailed inking. Straight Angel. This is Jim Ruggs was uh, impressed by this as he should be. I mean, that is gorgeous. Um, great job, Barry. And look at the beautiful art. I also love this because I feel like, uh, I think he uh, incorporated is it Billy Kincaid from Spawn with a uh, street angel? Is that who that is? No. Is it? I don't know. Oh yeah, Billy. I mean, genius, right? That's what I, I think like uh, some really great stories came out of like these fanzine projects. Cause it's like, I don't know, like, you know, when would you ever see this? Never. I mean, that is so dope. Look at that. That is sick, literally sick. Um, I just think Barry does such a great job. Like, please work on your own original graphic novel. Like, I, like it's the packaging is just always so good. It just like the lettering, the the art, the thought and care that goes into his stuff is just beautiful. Oh, very cool, Alley Cats. So that's the black and white version of that. Very cool. Love seeing that. And then he does his own image info page this is such a great book like i'm so happy to own this here aren't you jealous you should be and there's that peter david page that is so great i love that art but i mean this is like the most amazing revelation i just love this so much i'm so happy that i got this thank you so much barry it is amazing i'll put links to barry's socials and um maybe you can beg him for a copy or something I mean, you'd pay top dollar, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that like button, and I'll bring you more soon.